Hello, my sunshines. My name is Anna Robertson in Just Whisper. I am mostly a medium, intuitive reader, and a healer. I am a vessel for incredible light beings in order to help you heal, manifest faster, and incredible life, transform your life for better. So there's new webinars, my sunshines. I'm so excited. In order for you to heal any type of abusive or harassment or maybe bullying that you passed in the past or maybe in the present moment you are passing through something very toxic my next webinars it's two of them both on weekends they're going to stay recorded very powerful in order for you to receive light codes and healing energy through me and this will sure help you to manifest this incredible love okay my sunshines i'm not doing private readings right now so that's why my loves i recommend you keen you have you're the first 10 minutes for just $1.99. It's nothing. You have down below my link. Okay, my guys, I'm not working there. But you can receive incredible messages. And let's go with your reading, my sunshines. So, this is group number one with a blue butterfly. Group number two, red butterfly. Group number three with a green butterfly. And group number four with a yellow butterfly. If you feel drawn to more than one group, you can watch them. And my sunshines, let's see when and how you will both miss. So let's get started. Beautiful, magical souls. So welcome group number one. What a beautiful light it's coming right now. Wow, this is so amazing. Can you see the man? I know that most of you guys, you want to meet a man. Maybe you want to meet a woman, don't worry. But I see here like a man giving you something or somebody that is very strong physically. I even see like a sort of a hook. I'm not telling you that your man is like hook or your woman. But for sure, your man or your woman, some of you, you're going to meet on, uh, in the gym. Okay, suddenly I'm watching this with a shadow okay and because of your shadow work you're manifesting this incredible connection let's see the card because i haven't seen it yet okay so this is queen of wands oh yes this is a great sign with the black cat i think that many of you you're natural witches or sorcerers okay so the type of person that you are attracting i'm going to shuffle okay guys i'm going to shuffle i'm going to put this one here but i'm going to shuffle from Add it based in right of weight. I'm going to do a mix, okay, lots. And then I will start channeling. I prefer to this time to shuffle all of them. Okay, so two of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini element, King of Cups. This is water element, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We're right now we're in Scorpio season. This is Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Pentacles is coming out very clearly. Okay. And Eight of Cups. Okay. I'm going to try to tell you as much information as possible as about your soulmate. They're telling me to get two more of these. Okay, these ones are coming out. It's more than two, but I'm going to take all of them. This is Six of Cups. Eight of Swords on Reverse. Seven of Cups. Some of you, you're going to meet somebody that it's from 88, 78, 98, 77. Or Page of Pentacles. Okay, my sweethearts. And I want to shuffle Oracle cards as well. Okay. I have a very good feeling, group number one, with all of you guys. I think that at last, because of your great shadow work, you're manifesting somebody very special and, and somebody magical and unique for you because that's what you deserve. Your guides are very, very happy with all of you because, of, because this is the result of your hard work. So they see it, okay? Don't think that you're not doing enough, okay? The spirits are telling me to tell you that. New beginnings, yeah. Amazing. This is the confirmation that this is a new person. Okay. I'm trying to get another one. And miracles. Yeah. This is so amazing. Okay. 
Let me put it like this so I can put more cards, okay, my sunshines. I'm going to use the whole screen. Normally I don't take so many cards, but I am missing from Spirit that I have to make a lot of space. So probably you have been clearing out a lot of space at home or you have felt that you needed to break with certain people, habits, even a job in order to, to leave space for new beginnings and for miracles to arrive in your life. Okay, my loves, I want to shuffle more oracles. I'm going to shuffle quite a lot of cards and oracles and images because I really want to tell you as much important information as possible. Emotion, yeah, and desire, wow. <laughs> That's a good sign. is the zodiac sign let's see what two zodiac signs are most prominent in your person so we have gemini oops and this one wants to come out and we have virgo okay so we have earth and air element okay my loves Okay, group number one, I'm going straight to the point on what I'm watching with the two shirts and king of cups. This is letting me know that this person right now does not know you yet, okay? Because the two of shirts is a card that is telling us about somebody that, that cannot see. So this is telling me that you both, and look at this card, this beautiful synchronicity. Both of, you, both of you guys, you have not met yet. We, I tell you very clearly, with the two of shirts and rhythm, high yourself, reality, rest. Okay, and we're in the new beginners with this card. This is telling me that you still don't don't know this soulmate yet. It's like you can perceive it's close, and that's why you can see one eye here, and the other one you cannot see it. So you're getting close. You're getting close to this new beginning, to this new soulmate, and I think that this soulmate as well. I think that both of you guys, you're quite intuitive. But it's like your team of light is not allowing you to see all of the details about this encounter because they want this to be a surprise, a nice surprise. Why the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles So and the Eight of Cups? So this is telling me that the moment you guys, you left something that was not aligned with you anymore, it could be a person, a relationship, a job, even something that you studied or a hobby or even a home that you didn't feel you resonated any, anymore. The, mom, the moment you are going to leave that or you left it, this suddenly it's going to move really fast with the Knight of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. I know that the Knights is not such a rapid movement. It is more rapid, it's, it's quicker, sorry guys, it's quicker than, than the Knight of Pentacles, but but it's not so quick like a king of wands. But this is telling me, again, I tell you, my loves, that if you're still focused in somebody that is not working, you, you can see it, come on, guys. You can see that it's not working out and you feel that this group is for you with the new beginners. This is telling you that you need to leave it. Leave it behind. If, if there was an addiction that was not helping you to get focused, to be centered, with the best part of you, with the core of who you truly are, with the abundance that it's inside of you, with that wisdom, that abundance and that great joy, leaving that behind is going to make both of you guys find each other very soon. Why the Queen of Wands? We have here the Queen of Wands. We have Queen and Queen. So this is telling me that one of the two 
it's working on their passion oh my gosh i cannot get it one of the two is good is working on the passion okay my love so this is the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles one of the two is being very successful whether it's in their business in social media in their platform or maybe they're working for a company and they are getting promoted and they're earning a lot of money so i sense a lot of abundance i feel that most of you guys if this is not you or maybe it's you your person as well it's getting recognized your person as well is getting into a higher level economically okay and it's doing something that they love that's why wands whenever i see the king or queen of wands this is telling me that this is somebody you can sense her face look at that she's so happy whether you want to meet a man or a woman this is the representation of energy and this is telling you that this person is happy in what they're working at they feel happy so you are going to meet your soulmate in a in a very good moment in their lives not in a moment of despair not in a moment of i don't have money or i don't have a job no you're attracting into your life somebody that it's stable somebody somebody that it's new and somebody that it's very positive right now okay that's why the miracles and i and i'm watching look at that the two rainbows together so this is telling me that you are perfect for one and another and you're going to sense this connection like a miracle i mean if you i know that maybe some of you you're perceiving this but many of you i feel that you don't you don't realize this yet your guides are telling me when you, you both of you guys you're going to meet it's going to be in such a magical way magical i see a lot of magic i see a lot of desire a lot of passion between both of you look at the triangle isn't this beautiful oh my gosh look at that it's the first time this is doing the card oh my gosh look at that isn't that beautiful an emotion so in this relationship in this connection you're going to feel it like a miracle that at last at last you are you are manifesting something that you desired something that you are trying so hard to manifest something that you put in a lot of emotions so i sense group number one that you're very good with the law of attraction you are manifesting this miracle and your soulmate is, manif is manifesting you as well i sense both of you guys manifesting one and another okay i think that some of you you're going to meet in sedona or in a place that there's a lot of respect towards ancestors okay so there are so many points all around the world that this great energy i think both of you guys or you're going to travel to one of these points that you're going to feel the vibration really high okay or you're going to meet in a spiritual retreat i am sensing or even because you're not watching one and another maybe you're going to one of the two i think that for sure it's a celebrity or somebody that it's well known in social media maybe not all of them okay i'm not going to lie i don't see with all of them but i sense again a lot of attraction a lot of sexual attraction a lot of emotions a lot of love and a very and a beautiful miracle a beautiful a beautiful connection and as i was telling you guys when you're going to tell your children some of you your friends how you both met and and how how is the relationship so good that people are going to tell you this seems like a movie this seems like a fairy tale story i cannot believe you have manifested this connection people are going to tell you that constantly i cannot believe it this is so beautiful i see both of you guys together and i feel like oh my gosh i want to be in love and that's why the six of cups and the eight of swords on reverse so i am sensing that both of you guys if not both your person at last at last has clean karma concerning love and that's why he or she is manifesting you they want to have children with you or they want to have pets or a whole package pets animals <laughs> family kids i see that you're attracting somebody that it's very connected with their friends with their soul family i feel that they have already met at least between six and eight soul family members okay my gosh Oh, sorry my gosh no <laughs> okay my love <laughs> sorry I'm doing this i laugh at myself <laughs> so seven of cups and page of pentacles uh, 
this is a person that there's a lot of people interested in your soulmate, okay? But they are not sure of these people. These people that are after your soulmate, and probably this is happening to you as well, there's something that does not convince you of everyone that you're meeting. But this is going to be completely different, and that's why the Page of Pentacles. For me, this in, if this card comes out in tarot, this means solution of all problems. And the one, both of you guys, you're going to think you are the love of my life. You are the woman of my life. You are the man of my life. You are the one. There's not going to be any doubts like the seven of cups. You are going to know. And that's why both of you guys, you're going to begin going out together so quickly. You're going to have intimacy so quickly. And there's no blame. There's no guilt. There's no doubt. You both know you're going to fall in love with each other. So there's a very beautiful balance between desire and emotion. Both of you guys, you're going to feel on fire together. Collective power, supreme prayer, three of cups, that celebration. So this is completely celebration. And for me, this is the meaning of both of you guys working together on your passion or doing a project together and really being very successful. And again, I tell you guys, both of you guys, you're going to be a role model of a couple that you're going to inspire many people around the globe, around the world to activate themselves and to believe again in love. So this is going to be a very beautiful connection. It's not only that you're going to enjoy this connection and you're going to feel very excited and your loved ones are going to be very happy for you. This, your love story is going to help others to really believe in love again. And mag word dreams, rhythm, high yourself, reality, rest. This is telling me that both of you guys, you are making strong connections, not only with one and another, but with other incredible family members from your soul family, okay? Many connections with your tribe. You're calling upon your tribe through your dreams, as well as your men or your women. And as I was saying, two prominent zodiac signs important in your man and your woman, in your soulmate, Gemini and Virgo. Okay, my sunshines. I think that this person is going to think that you're very beautiful. You're very attractive. They're going to feel very, very, very attracted to your soul, to your energy, to your physical appearance. Now I want to ask my sunshines, let's shuffle some images. Oops, these are Polaroid images. Gosh, it's so many of them. <laughs> let's see what spirits wants to tell us more about this connection and when. Okay, I'm going to ask spirits when. Spirits are telling me that between two and eight months, all of you guys are going to meet. Two and eight months. Look at that. The stars during the night where we were speaking about rest. So you are manifesting this person during the night. Even it could be that some of you, you're going to talk through chat or phone the first time in the night. Or you're going to meet in at night, okay? Or maybe you look at this card. This is telling me that it's getting darker. So maybe between 7, 8 in the afternoon. It could be even later. Again at night. Wow. <laughs> you are going to meet this person when it's getting darker. Okay. And wow, look at that. Even some of you, you're going to meet through a wedding of another person, a cousin, a sibling, a friend, a close friend. This is letting me know, you, and as well, if you're going out with a friend and it's getting darker, or maybe you're going to have a nice, nice dinner in a nice place, please always be safe, okay, at night, my loves. You're going to manifest this soulmate, and this is the confirmation that you're going to marry this beautiful soulmate. And I have just seen 12, 12. So this is letting me know that many of you, you're going to manifest this person by Christmas. And look at that. A lot of tension, sexually tension between both of you. I see this person, if you want to meet a man, he's quite taller than you and very strong, as we can see in him. And if you want to manifest a woman, she's shorter than you, okay? There's a difference of color of, of hair. Not too much difference, but there's a difference of color of hair. 
I sense exotic eyes. Let's see about the physical appearance. And I think that some of you, you're going to meet through astrology or even tarot readings in the comment section. I look at that again, somebody very exotic or a mix, India, Asia. Yes, they're telling me not to shuffle anymore. So maybe he could be from India, from Asia, or he could be a mix, or he could have an appearance of very beautiful, dark chocolate skin and exotic eyes. Okay, maybe some mustache. Okay, my sunshines. I hope you have liked it, my loves. And if that's the case, give me a like, subscribe in. I love you. And if you want to be part of the next webinars, oh my gosh, they're going to be so amazing. You're going to receive a lot of light codes and it's going to accelerate the process of any type of manifestation that you're trying to manifest. You have everything down below. And my keen link, my, my loves, just less than $2.00. 10 minutes, amazing, precise information from incredible psychics. I love you, my loves. Bye. So welcome room number two with this beautiful red butterfly. This is telling me that there's going to be a lot of passion between both of you guys. Let's see what card came out for all of you. This is the 10 of wands. Okay, let's leave it here. I'm going to shuffle a lot of tarot, a lot of oracle and some images. Okay, before I start channeling. Now let's get this deck based in right away. So please, spirits, how are they going to meet and when? Group number two, how are they going to meet and when? How are they going to meet and when? The time to get this one. So this is the four of cups on reverse. I'm going to put it here. Okay, my sunshines, let's see about your soulmates, two zodiac signs. Virgo and Gemini. Okay, my sweethearts, it came out in group number one, I believe so. Let's shuffle another one. And this is um, Gemini again. Okay, yes, because I had two Gemini, so curious. So for sure, this is a twin flame connection or it may seem like a twin flame connection, okay? Because... I, did, I was not aware I put the Gemini, I printed this one, but I, I was not very convinced and I printed again, like the rest of the cards of the images. So let's leave it there. Okay, my sweeties, I'm going to put this beside, so we have Virgo, we have Gemini twice. Okay, so for sure this person is Gemini, it could be an element as well. Uh, let, let's leave it here. So what I can sense very clearly with all of the cards that have come out, Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and Nine of Wands. The first one was Ten of Wands, Five of, five of Swords on Reverse, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles on Reverse, Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers on Reverse, Temperance on Reverse, the World. This is a very important and powerful card for you. This is like telling you, your soulmate, it's coming. Don't worry, okay? King of Swords on reverse, the Empress, and Ace of Cups on reverse. I have to be sincere, guys. I see here 
that all of you guys, or you have divorced already, or you have just broken up with somebody. It could be somebody that you followed or you were very focused energetically, very focused energetically and feeling that strong connection with that person. I'm telling you this because, my loves, I sense that some of you, maybe it could be an ex returning, coming back. And others, you are manifesting this new person after saying goodbye to a lover, to a marriage. That's why the Ten of Couple, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles on reverse. You are saying goodbye at last with a smile in your face to a relationship that was over. That's why the lovers on reverse and the ace of pentacles on reverse. This is telling me very clearly that most of you guys, you have divorced or you have left somebody that you thought in the past that he or she was the one. And again, some of you, it could be that you're going to return with an old story that did not work out in the past because it was not the correct time. It could be that some of you, this is a twin flames connection. And this time, it, this time it's going to work out. And if it's not a twin flame connection, this is telling you that this person that it's coming your way, whether it's an ex or somebody from the past, that maybe they were married or they were with another partner, that this is going to work on this time because right now it is the correct time. It was not the correct time back then. Even it could be talking that some of you, you're still waiting for love. That's why the nine of wands, you're still waiting. You know that there's somebody special waiting for you. You know it. You sense it. And right now I see you with more self-esteem, with your head up, setting healthy boundaries. Maybe that was the problem in the past. And that's why you tended to get into toxic or abusive relationships or very unfair situations, relationships. Not only love, I am sensing... Group number two, that most of you guys, you you did not how to say no, did not how to set up healthy boundaries in the past, but that is over. I think that in the past, most of you guys, you didn't, you never had a fair relationship, course any love. You never had somebody that really cares for you, loves you, is demonstrating is showing you real interest the way you deserve and this is coming whether it's an ex that has changed a lot or somebody from the past that was with a relationship or was married and is now divorced i wouldn't i would never encourage anyone in my readings because i am a healer and i work with energy to go out with a married man or woman i mean i wouldn't recommend it but if this is somebody that has divorced great yes think about it I think that all of you guys, like this person that you're attracting, and that's why the Ten of Wands, all of you guys, you needed to release a lot of stuff from the past, a lot of burdens. So all of you guys, you have passed a very tough past, but I'm listening from spirit that this is over. That's why the Five of Swords on Reverse, instead of being burnt out and thinking, thinking, being obsessive or rethinking about somebody or feeling pain, concerning in love in general, you have done this. You have released yourself from anything that is not allowing you to grow. You have released yourself from people that are not loving you the way you deserve and your soulmate as well. I sense that most of you guys, you're going to meet in 10 months or 10 days. Between 10 days, some of you, and 10 months. I sense like a very big difference here in this group number two. And six of pentacles, yeah. Because you have the courage to leave behind that karmic or those karmic relationships or that toxic marriage. You release at last all of those toxic energies or toxic access or toxic beliefs about love. There you go, six of pentacles. Love is coming your way. God, the universe, is giving you an amazing, incredible, loving, at last a loving relationship, a good one for you. A really good one. Somebody that really is going to love you, not like in the past. It appears in the past, the lovers in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles, because in the past and the Ten of Pentacles, and again, if you have not divorced, 
I think that maybe you're coming from a very from a long period of time without being with a partner, like the one that you're manifesting. Both of you guys, you have been single for quite a long time, and it wouldn't surprise me to know for years, even years, because you needed to heal a lot of stuff. You needed to to get focus in your life. And spirits wants me to tell you that both of you guys, you have done your work. Both of you guys, and that's why they're here on Both of you guys, you have done your work. Both of you, you have done your meditations, your yoga. Both of you guys, you're very spiritual. I'm not sure that both of you, you were very spiritual. You were raised like that. But right now, yes, spirituality could be that through spirituality, even through a trip. And that's, the, and that's why the world, both of you guys, you could meet. I think this person is from a different country or from a different background, different culture, different religion. And I'm listening from spirits, stop hiding. So spirits are telling you, group number two, that show yourself, head up, stand straight, because you're somebody very magical and very special. Don't allow anyone anymore to diminish your light, like, the, that, like that X or X's, because that's over. That's over. That's why the Ten of Wands, that's over. You're ready for this connection, this new connection, and your soulmate as well. I feel that both of you guys, you have lived, if not the same experience, very similar experiences. I feel that one of the two has had very tough situations in family, and the other one has had very tough situations with relationships. I even sense that some of you, and I'm sorry about that, you wanted to get pregnant and you lost a baby or you had an abortion. Gosh, my throat chakra is closing when I say this. I'm sorry about that. Because you were not ready for it. You were not ready. You thought that if you stick around with that person or having that baby, it would be like a never-ending story of lies, of toxic situations, and you didn't want to bring up a baby like that, so please don't feel guilty about that. And if you lost a baby, whether you were in a marriage, in a relationship or not, spirits are telling you that with this person, you are going to be able to be a mom or a dad again. Don't worry about that. Don't feel guilty about that. Because you were protecting that baby, or maybe it could mean a project of your life, okay? And that's why it's on reverse, the Ace of Cups and the Empress. You and your soulmate did not live a healthy life in the past. None of both. I think that both of you guys, you are masters in disguise. You are masters that you chose really very tough circumstances and situations to grow very fast. And I think group number two, both of you guys, you are attracting a soulmate that is very mature. Very mature. They, I mean, even your soulmate, when he or she was very young, they, they, he or she, your soulmate, seemed more like the parents rather than the parents themselves. You know what I mean? Maybe that has been your situation as well. So I'm very happy because the world is coming up right. So this is telling me that it's coming. Don't lose faith. This person is coming. It's coming your way. They are looking for you as well, okay? And I think that if you have not met this, this soulmate yet, it's because he or she needs to divorce or to leave a relationship, to end up a relationship. But I feel that there's not a lot of waiting when one of the two is still with a relationship, ends up that relationship, things are going to start moving a lot. And I think through a trip, or through a spiritual retreat, both of you guys, you're going to meet. Even it could be through a course of finances or something. Even it could be through a job that you left or you, were, you got fired. You could meet this person. And wisdom, yeah. This person that you're attracting is somebody that for sure, I think that both of you guys, you met in Atlantis. And in Egypt, I am listening. Both of you guys, you're masters in these guys. And that's why you chose such difficult, such difficult challenges because your soul knew you were, you were going to manage all of this, really. So don't worry if you're feeling sad or you're feeling low, you're feeling that you're not going to be lucky in love because that's, that's just an illusion. This is coming, okay? 
And transformation and security, yeah. So both of you guys, you have gone through a very deep transformation, a very deep one. And you're going, and, and this person is searching for stability, like you. Both of you guys, you want stability. Both of you guys, you're going to feel at home with one another. You're going to feel safe. You didn't feel, you, I think that both of you guys in general, you have, you have not felt safe with almost anyone. Maybe with some people, yes, but in order for you to attract him or her, your soulmate, you needed to feel safe within yourself. You needed to pass through this very big awakening. And again, blue. One of the two for sure is from Atlantis. And I think that the other one is from Lemurian. So the feminine energy from Lemurian and the masculine energy from Atlantis. Okay, so both of you guys, you have incredible gifts, psychic gifts. Both of you, both of you you're going to go very deep in this relationship. That's why the mermaid. And I feel that maybe he looks like Aquaman or the woman looks like... Um, like the female roles uh, that appears in Aquaman as well, okay? And both of you guys, you're going to bring one and another a lot of warmth, okay? A lot of passion as well, so there's going to be a very nice attraction. But I sense more sensuality rather than sexuality. I sense like more sensuality, a lot of hugs. Look like, like she's opening her eyes. Both of you guys, and that's why the temperance on reverse. Both of you guys, you need peacefulness. You need somebody that brings you peace. And this person is going to bring you peace and you're going to bring your soulmate peace. Both of you guys, you're going to travel the whole world or maybe your product, it's going to go viral or you're going to sell a lot of stuff to many countries or you're going to make a lot of connections. So this person has traveled a lot, okay, and has stopped escaping. I think that this person left many relationships, left many homes, left many jobs because they were in a way escaping from the past. It was... It was like a programming that your soulmate had about what they passed in their childhood. But this is over. This is coming on reverse. They have stopped. Now, right now, they are in a moment of stability. Okay, my loves. And my sessions. I want to shuffle this oracle. Wow. What a deep, con what a deep reading here in group number two. So special. Bond. Yes, dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. Yes, so both of you guys, you're going to live your dreams together. Love conquers all. Yes, there you go. So this is a real love connection. This is true love. Bond, a love bond grows stronger over time. So this connection is going to, sorry, it's going to grow stronger over time. And signs, yes, this is so beautiful. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. What I was telling you guys, this is true love that you're manifesting. I'm so happy for all of you. Now, let's see again with some Polaroid images how both of you guys, although I feel that it's going to be through a trip or through spirituality or through a webinar, or through a course or through a spiritual retreat or somewhere that you feel safe. Okay, or maybe you're going to be invited by friends that you feel safe. It could be an, even a party or celebration at home or a birthday. I am listening. Okay, so at night in the city, going out at night. This came out in group number one as well. If you want to, guys to check out in the subway. Okay, traveling. As I said, here we see the plants and the cats. So maybe one of the two has cats or animals, loves animals. I see a camera here. Maybe one of the two loves photographs or is a, is, is a influencer. And look at that. Didn't I tell you that so much love between both of you, such so much tenderness. I sense, I don't sense like a very rough sex. Like, I mean, I'm not telling you that's wrong. No, but I sense more sensuality, a lot of tenderness and a lot of hugs because both of you guys, you need a lot of love. You are coming from a past that, there was a lot of lack of love and I feel in general, and I'm sorry about that, my love. I'm sending all of you guys a big hug, full of light. But that's over. That's over. This is coming your way. Okay, my loves. I'm so happy for all of you. Some of you, you're going to meet in the in a train, in the subway, in the bus, okay? And let's see more or less about the appearance of your soulmate. These are men coming out, okay, my loves? If you're a man or a woman that you want to meet a woman, 
it's the same guy that it's coming out but <laughs> i'm feminine okay and I think that if you want to meet a woman, I didn't say it in group now, I did not notice because I know most of you guys, you're women, that you want to meet a man. If you want to meet a woman, probably she has red hair or, um, how do you say, hazel hair, blonde hair, red hair, okay? Or a very, a very, it could be a hair color like blue or very pink, okay? Blue eyes for sure, if you want to meet a woman. And let's see the men that came out. So, some of you, you're going to meet an older guy that it's very elegant and sexy and very masculine. And some of you, you're going to meet somebody younger that it's very sexy and loves motorbikes. It could be that both of, both of you guys, you're going to meet some of you through a race or maybe you get into a group or you, get, you, get, you go to a restaurant or you go to have a drink and there are many people that have a motorbike they go over there to have a drink or to have a nice dinner or a nice meal okay and i think that some of you it, it, even it could be your mentor or your teacher hmm very interesting that's let me to shuffle another one okay this came out in group number one i'm going to shuffle no okay so for sure or very dark hair if you want to meet a guy it could be from asia it could be from Europe or USA, I am listening. And this reminds me of Amsterdam, Norway, Greenwich. It reminds me a little bit from, of more of Europe, okay, my sunshines. I feel that the older guys that some of you are going to meet, they have a lot of money, a lot, a lot of abundance. And the spirits are telling me to show you this one that I have besides, okay, that some of you... Even going out with your family, you both of you guys, you're going to look to one another. And some of you having a nice coffee or tea or drink in a coffee shop. And again, it comes out a coffee shop, a restaurant. Maybe it could be in that trip that we were talking about, a branch. Both of you guys, you start looking at one another with a lot of curiosity. And you're going to sense like a familiarity between both of you guys because you have met in many past lives. Oh my gosh, group number two. I'm so happy for all of you. I hope you have liked it. If that's the case, give me a like, subscribe in, and I hope to see you in the next reading. And remember, my next webinar is very powerful to release and to manifest faster, positive stuff. Bye. Bye. Work on group number three. Let's see how and when you're going to meet your incredible soulmate. So let's see which card it came out for all of you. It came out the hermit. Okay, my Sasha. So this is telling me already that your soulmate is single right now. Okay, it's not seeing anyone, interested on anyone, or having sex or intimacy with anyone. Okay, I'm going to shuffle a lot of tarot plus oracle and the zodiac sign. So let's see. Before I start challenging, guys, this time I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to shuffle a lot of cards. This is coming out very strong, Queen of Swords. Okay. How group number three is going to meet their soulmate and one. Two of Pentacles. Oops. The world. You guys, you have very strong guides and masters because when the cards pop out like this, it's because all of you guys, you're very strong energetically. You're very good at manifesting. Look at that. It's so, wow, so quickly. You're manifesting somebody that is very quick at manifesting and very quick in their mind, okay? They're very quick. They're somebody that they're more of, of actions rather than words. I'm not telling you that they're not going to express their feelings in a romantic way, but I think this is a person more of actions. Five of swords, the hierophant, we have here the Queen of Wands. Let us put it here. I want to put the light like that. This is the Knight of Wands. This is the Ten of Wands. Let me focus. It's not focusing right, is it? Okay. 
And justice on reverse. Okay. I am listening from spirit. At last, you are going to feel that that this furnace in your life. I think that this person that's coming your way. I think that some of you, even you know this person already. I am sensing group number three. Now let's go into the reading. Well, sorry, <laughs> as I was telling you guys, you're going to sense because I'm listening from spirit. Like at last, things are going right. At last, things are going not so wrong or so weird or so complicated. So you're not attracting somebody complicated. Maybe in the past you tended to attract complicated people. It could be a repetition of what you of what you lived and felt when you were a child with your family, or what or how you vibrated because the way we we vibrate is what we attract. Okay, sometimes we don't realize how we act and how we are, how we, we behave, however vibration it is, but. Spirits are telling you that don't worry that that complication, that unluckness that you felt in your life, it's over. So we have Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. This is telling me these two cards is telling me, and I'm going to get them. This card, these two cards are telling me, reminder that Swords, it's an element, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Four of Pentacles, it's water element which is Pisces, a Scorpio, and Cancer. Right now we're in Scorpio season. Don't worry if you, if you watch this reading in the future. The messages are always timeless, okay, my loves? So this is telling me that you have been thinking, rethinking a lot about your past. Why, why, why you were so unlucky in love? Why you always were offered relationships that you were not happy at all, but spirits are telling you, you see, you're touching the one. You're almost there. This person is very close. And I really feel because this character is touching the ball that God or the universe is offering to you, is that some of you, you have met this person already, but you're not aware yet or you're not sure. You're having doubts. I am listening from spirit. So some of you, you already know this person, and you are a little bit doubtful. And it's fine. Spirit's autonomy. And why the two of pentacles are the world? So maybe some of you, you have two, two people in your mind. Or you are going to decide between two people, okay? Because two of pentacles, it's options. This is options. And the world, this, is, this means that whoever you choose, you're going to be very happy. So funny, isn't it? <laughs> How life goes it sometimes. I'm sure that many of you, you think that you don't have options. So there's not maybe a lot of people interested in you that you are interested in them. But this is coming your way. Two people that you feel something towards them. Yes, I feel like you're going to think, who do I have to choose? But don't worry because... The more you meditate, the more... I mean, I think that you're going to choose that one that it's going to raise your vibration. Listen to... That's the advice, advice from spirit, okay? And that's why the hermit. You need to take the decision alone by yourself. Take time. Meditate. Meditate. Go to nature. Ground yourself and you will know who you will have to choose. Maybe even some of you, you're thinking of someone in the past that it's not allowing you to continue forward with an incredible love story. So spirits are telling you, your guides are telling you, be aware that those old stories or that old stories is making you being stuck in your mind, in your head, is not allowing you to set yourself free. So be aware of being obsessed or focused on somebody you don't even know that you feel the connection, but you don't know them in person, whether it's a celebrity or not, or be aware of somebody in the past that you cannot forget or forgive. Allow yourself to be free. Do your personal work. Do your inner work. Do a lot of meditations. Go to nature. Ground yourself and get out of your head. Okay, but I'm happy because you have in the world the Hierophant and Justice in Reverse. So this is telling me already with, this, with these three cards that at last you are going to get over 
that past relationship, that karma, that bad luck. Because you have done your work or you're doing your work or you're realizing that if you don't do your inner work and you try to escape the how do you the spirits are telling me worksheet <laughs> it's like when you're in school and you have to make all of that homework when you stop escaping from your personal homework and you start being more focused in yourself that's why they hear of and you need personal work you need shadow work you need to connect with spirit you are going to turn this situation around. You're going to stop this cycle of not having love. Okay? Some of you, again, you're obsessed. Please don't get angry, somebody, if I'm saying that. It's just, it's just too much energy focused in somebody that it's not meant for you. Though you feel the, uh, the attraction or the connection, that that's, does not mean that that celebrity is meant for you or that person is meant for you. If you don't know that person yet and time is passing by, forget it. That person has arrived in your head, in your life, to awaken you. To awaken you. That's why the hermit and the hero found. Because you are more awakened than what you, than what you believed. And I'm sensing here like... Um, I believe six months. I think that in six months, all of you guys, you're going to get to this point of... Okay, I'm going to leave, and again, the situation, some of you of two people, choosing between two people, I'm going to leave behind one of them, I'm going to stop overthinking, I'm going to follow my instinct, I'm going to follow my heart, I'm going to take time for myself to think who do I have to choose, I'm going to stop running from myself, running from love. Maybe some of you, you have the tendency of leaving behind a lot of couples. This is stopping. I sense like a leap of, a quantum leap, a leap of faith. I sense all of you guys being more mature. I sense most of you guys are last leaving behind, leaving behind somebody that it's not meant for you or an old habit of, leaving many people or not having commitment because you're scared of, okay? I, I know that I'm telling you guys a lot of different options, but I'm sensing I have to tell all, all of them because I am channeling as always. And I sense that this connection that is coming towards you with the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands, I sense there's a very big difference of age between both of you guys. Probably both of you, you're going to meet through your passion, through your hobby. Okay, even moving. Some of you, you're going to move to a new place and that's the moment that you're going to meet this person. Okay, my sunshines, I'm going to shuffle some oracle. I am listening from spirit. Do not worry so much. Group number three. Do not get into your head so much. Relax. That's telling me that maybe using healing frequencies that you can find a lot of free videos in YouTube, it will help you, okay, to relax. Attraction, yes, the law of attraction. So you at last, you're using the law of attraction. That's why we see here. Look how she's using, how she manages her energy. This is you. At last, because of you taking care of yourself, doing your shadow work, deciding being more mature, upgrading your energy, because I think that all of you guys, you have been upgraded energetically and you feel it. Maybe the, maybe, maybe those healing sessions or Reiki sessions, even webinars or some stuff that you have been doing lately, a lot of meditations, you felt a little bit weird in your head because you have been upgraded energetically. And clarity, at last, you are going to have clarity, some of you, between those two people that you're thinking about. It could be somebody that you're following, a crush, but you don't know. And then another person knew that it's coming your way. Or it could be an ex, it could be as well, here in group number three. Okay, and a new person. Or two people and two new people, but you're going to follow again. You're going to have clarity. You're going to sense uh, the person that it's more correct for you. I even sense that some of them, they have very beautiful natural red hair 
or blonde hair. I sense blonde red hair. Okay, my loves. Whoops. of the alarm that I'm listening in the background, you are going to get a very strong synchronicity and signs with this person, okay? It's going to be a little bit of kind of crazy, deep knowing, yes. You are going to really, you're going to choose wisely, don't worry. You are going to choose wisely. Trust more, trust more yourself, trust more your instinct, okay, my sunshine, because you're going to do it very well. And I'm sensing three, so probably you have been, maybe some of you even, you're going to manifest this person, you're going to decide in three months. Okay, my loves. And in 2023, even some of you, you're going to marry, you're going to already having children with this person. I'm watching a lot of threes, threes, which is the number of manifestation, balance, and masters. So there's a lot of masters with all of you guys helping you to reach your goal. And I have just watched the timing number 13, which is rebirth, death, new cycle, new life, new person. Or maybe somebody from the past, but this is going to be a completely type of relationship you've ever had, okay? Diligence, yeah. Let me focus. So my sunshines, so after being careful and persistent with your inner work, or effort, your constant effort, you want to manifest the clarity to know which person you have to choose. And again, I think that many of you, there's somebody that you have a crush on a celebrity or somebody that you know, but things are not moving. So leave it, leave it. Uh, th this has been a very constant question in, of many of my clients with private readings. I, have, I feel this strong connection with this celebrity and, and mostly 90% of the times I don't feel that it's a true connection. It's, yes, it's not that it's not a true connection, but I sense more and, and, and learning from guides and masters that that connection was meant to be, and yes, it's coming from past lives, but that connection was meant to be to awaken. That's why the hermit and the hero fund. You're here to awaken. You were... Your fate, your fate, your destiny was to awaken. That's why these two cards together to awaken, so you could at last find yourself and grow with that new identity. So you're going to the reason why you didn't manifest this connection before is because you were not ready, but now you are. So great! And after your hard work in yourself. You're manifesting. You have more clarity of what you want in your life. And the spirits are telling me that the moment you are going to start with this person, you're going to feel magnetic. There's a magnetic energy in you. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, my sunshines. I'm going to shuffle the zodiac signs. Let's see which two zodiac signs are going to be strong. So we have Libra element, okay? And we had justice here in reverse. So this is another confirmation from spirit. I think that all of you guys, you're receiving incredible synchronicities and signs. And even through your dreams, so spirits are telling me to tell you, my sweetie, to write down any symbol, meaning, any metaphor that your spirits are communicating you through your dreams. And meditations, we have Virgo. And they're telling me to shuffle another one. And Aquarius. Okay, my sunshine. So we have two air element and earth. Okay, my sunshine. So now let's see how both of you guys are going to meet. Okay, these are Polaroid images. A lot of them because I want to be as more precise as possible. My sunshine, come on, my loves. I sense like a dense energy around you. Maybe that's why you are having headaches sometimes. Release yourself, clean yourself with sage. Okay, look at that 
A lot of tens tension in uh, concerning sexuality, yes. A lot of attraction, very, very, very strong attraction. I think that one of the two is a little bit of of like the movie, the tri the tri the tri how do you say it? trilogia trilogy of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more light. Wow, this card, this one keeps popping out. So many of you you're going to meet, or the first date it's going to be uh, between late afternoon night. Okay. I think that both of you guys, you're going to sleep together very early. Okay. And again, look at this confirmation that many of you you're going to meet in a moment in your lives that you're going to be very, look, I am enough, working yourself, elevate your energy. Look at that. I want to focus. I want to get the light. Look at that. The spirits are telling you that you need to raise your vibration or to clean your energy. Okay, my sweeties. Okay, my loves. So in the moment that you're going to be focusing your spirituality, you want to meet this person. In winter, ti winter time, many of you, in Christmas, you're going to manifest this connection. And through a trip, okay, maybe you get back home to visit your family on Christmas or on a celebration or a birthday. And that's the moment many of you you're going to meet. That's wonderful. Or traveling alone. Okay, be careful, be careful. Let's see the image. Okay, if you want to meet a woman, I sense that the woman, most of women, or very dark hair or chocolate hair, even red. Chocolate, red or dark, not blonde. Okay, Indian. So uh, we see a very handsome I Indian, elegant man. Yes, nice. He loves to wear brown. Wow, sexy. Very nice as well. Blue eyes. Some of you a very blue eyes, very cute. Nice tattoos, okay, very sexy, a little bit of beer. And I'm going to shuffle another one because it's many of you. And just shuffling one, I don't think it's enough. <laughs> okay, nice. So he seems like typical of South America, Spanish, Greek. And even he would look like uh, Poland or from those places, but nice with some nice beard. Maybe he's an actor or she's an actress, okay, or a singer, I am sensing. He does a lot of casting, so okay, my loves. Okay, my sweeties. And to end up the reading, I want to shuffle one of his images. How is the first date going to be? Oh, look at that. So much talk, nice conversation. Very nice. I sense like a calmness between both of you. Although I think that you're going to connect in an intimate way very fast. But I sense, I don't sense like a rush. It's like suddenly both of you guys, you feel it. You want it. You're sure. You see clarity in this connection and you go for it. Okay. I'm not telling you all of you guys that, that you're going to sleep with that person very early. No, maybe some of you, you need a lot of time and it's perfect. Always do whatever it's good for you. This is our always general readings, okay? Just adjust the information that is most suitable for you because it's your life. And no reader, no tarot is going to tell you how you're going to leave your connection. Okay, my sweeties? Oh my gosh! I love all of you guys so much. So if you have liked it, you know, subscribe and give me a like. I hope to see you in my next reading. And remember, my next webinars are amazing to help you manifest and release any toxic energy that surrounds your aura, okay? <laughs> Let me know in the, in the description. You have my email. Bye, my loves. Bye, I love you. <laughs> Bye. Welcome, group number four, with this beautiful yellow butterfly. Let's see which card came out for all of you. Let's see when and how you're going to meet your soulmate. So this is King of Pentacles. Nice. I sense that most of you guys, if you want to meet a man, he's very like native Indian American. Or yes, or maybe it could be that he is working with a shaman or he's a shaman or he's a healer. Or he looks like a healer. 
I don't know, I'm sensing that group number four, but I'm going to shuffle a little bit of tarot, oracle, images, zodiac sign, okay, my loves? I'm going, to, I'm going to try to tell you as much information as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if you have, if you want to like the reading. And remember guys that the next webinars that are going to go live, they're going to stay recorded, very powerful for you to manifest, to release stuff from your past or present that it's toxic. Okay, my loves. So let's see when and how you're going to meet your soulmate. So this is Ten of Wands. Okay. There you are leaving some something behind, leaving studies, leaving a job, leaving a place, leaving a home, even leaving a country. So five of pentacles on reverse. King of Wands, the Judgment on Reverse. I see like a lot of cleaning of karma in general in all of readings. I have just done one in Spanish and the same message keep coming out that many of you at last, you're cleaning a lot of karma. Great. Nine of Pentacles on Reverse, Queen of Wands. Page of Wands on Reverse, Death on Reverse, and Knight of Wands. Okay, my loves. Now I'm going to shuffle some oracles. I feel like I want to shuffle more oracles for this group, for whatever reason. I think that's spirit that wants me to give you more different kind of messages here in group number four. They're telling me if you felt wrong to grab group number two to check it out as well. Protection. Okay, this is protection. How can I move the light so you can see it better? Let me put this like here. Number 33, wholeness. Wow, that's beautiful. Initiation. Nice. Deep knowing. Beautiful. I sense that both of you guys... You are a connection mostly from starseed, okay? Starseed reincarnations rather than earth. I think that most of you guys, you have you are like quite a young reincarnated soul here on planet earth. Maybe that's why you don't feel you belong here. That's why the ten of wands in the first one. But they tell me to get another one of the oracle before I continue ch uh, channeling and in doing the interpretation of the cards. And tell me to get these two. So protection. Wow. Twice protection. Wow. Twice protection. Stand still. Okay. I think that he or she is going to stand like that. The moment they see you, your soulmate, when they, when your soulmate is going to see you, is going to go like, whoa, who is she? Who is he? And fulfillment with wholeness. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful synchronicity. Wow. Okay, my sunshines. I'm going to put this one here so you can see it better. Okay. Wow, amazing. Okay, my loves. What I can sense already as I was telling you guys that just after you leave a job, a career, a home, you sell something or you move to somewhere else, somewhere different, even it could be a country, Okay, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is a good sign because this is somebody that is feeling hopeless, feeling like they are lost, that they don't have the key to open the door to love. But if this is in reverse, this is telling me that because of that decision, you leaving behind something that's leading you to the King of Wands. Okay. It's, it's nice because this is coming out as the King of Wands. The judgment on reverse. So this is telling me that at last, both of you, 
you have cleaned that deep karma that was so difficult to clean from family. I am listening. Okay, I'm going to try to focus. So this is telling me that most of you guys, whether you want to meet a man or a woman, I think that this person is working on the passion. That's why I read Salamander is one of their animal totems. This is somebody that adapts himself or herself really well in different type of environments and people. This is somebody, this is a fighter. This is a free soul. This is a rebellious soul. This is somebody very different, okay? This is somebody that it's a leader, probably Leo we have here. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see a lot of as well. And this is somebody that it's making nice money in the work that they're doing, okay? It could be that they're working for a big company. It could be that they're working for a big company. And this is somebody that they have... How they say in... Sorry, my love. I know that I was born in England and I'm half English, but I, they spoke to me in Spanish and it's a little bit more difficult for me to speak in English. So thank you for your patience. But what I'm listening from spirit is the idea that they have quite a lot of mouth. So what I'm, I'm not sure if it's correct, if it's said correctly in English, but it's like they have closed a lot of mouths. Many people were speaking about them, about your soulmate, many people. Oh my gosh, look at him, look at her. They have left that job that was so good for them. They have left that relationship that was so good for them. They have left that. Are they crazy? Is he crazy? Is she crazy? What are they doing? Well, that's why they just went on reverse. But because they followed their heart, they followed their instinct, and they knew that there was something better waiting for them, and that's you, that's you, of course. They are going to shut a lot of mouths. A lot of people are going to go, I cannot believe this person has manifested this type of relationship with you, this type of lifestyle with you, this home with you. So this is somebody that it's going to be very successful if he or she is not already successful. And I'm happy because this person does not care at all what others think. That's why they always are going to do whatever, whatever they feel it's good for them. That's amazing. With double protection, this is telling me that this person is always, always, always put you in, is always going to give you the place of a partner. What do they mean by that, the spirits? This is a person that is very deep. This is a person that it's going to make a big effort and it's going to take time to demonstrate you love, to demonstrate you loyalty, to demonstrate you that they really care for you, that they want to go deep in this relationship that they want to go deep with you and that they're always going to protect you from anything and really anyone they are not going to make you feel embarrassed in front of people you will always have your place as his partner this is very important for him or for her okay my loves so i sense that both of you guys i feel that both of you you're very deep and you're very protected okay you need this type of relationship my loves, I ran out of battery. <laughs> so this is telling me that maybe some of you, you have been feeling a little bit burned out recently concerning love. Maybe you're receiving, keep receiving messages. You are going to manifest this soulmate. You're going to manifest this soulmate and you're still waiting. Or still you don't manifest that connection that you wanted to be deep. And I was going to tell you guys, you're going to sense that with this connection, this connection is going to force you a little bit. I mean, not force you, but it's going to encourage you to be vulnerable, okay? It's going to encourage you, both of you guys, you're going to feel vulnerable with one and another. And you're going to feel that you, you can be yourself. That it's important that both of you, you go deeper and deeper in this connection. And that's going to lead you to a lot of fulfillment with a lot of wholeness, okay? So fulfillment and wholeness and initiation and deep knowing. This is letting me know that you've never had this type of connection before, okay? This is something new, completely a new connection for you. Although you feel it like both of you have been married already and, and it has happened in past lives. But you feel that you've never had such a deep connection and you have never met somebody so deep. So this is new for you.
this is somebody very very deep and I even sense when we cut the onions we start to cry so I sense both of you guys crying many times together because there's such an empathy between both of you such a deep connection that again if you cry he or she probably is going to cry with you okay whether it's something uh, coming from a positive side or negative okay maybe you are having a lot of pain and this person is going to suffer with you even more than you okay and if you're going to be very happy this person is going to be very happy for you so this is a very caring person okay and this is somebody that if he or she's going to tell you they're going to do something with you they are going to do it it's not like talking 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 and it's not to it's not going to become a reality and that's why the pitch of wants and the death on reverse i feel that many of you in the past you were with people that suddenly they ghosted you or they disappeared or whatever they they promised you it was never i mean it never happened okay it never happened so don't worry because no more lies or no more people that are not really there for you that's over okay okay my sunshines Let's see about the zodiac sign, my beauties. We are going to shuffle two. So we have Sagittarius. Okay, nice. So probably your soulmate has is Sagittarius, and that's why so many wands in the cards. We have King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Here we have the Queen of Wands. I was already not realized. Thank you, spirits. Perfect couple together. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yay! <laughs> Divine partner. I am listening. Of course, both of you guys, you're a perfect match coming from the stars. Maybe some of you, you're a celebrity. So both of you guys, you're going to become a celebrity when both of you, you meet. Okay? And Capricorn and Taurus. Okay? Because they were telling me to get three at the end. Capricorn, Taurus and Sagittarius. Let's see both of you guys how you could meet one and another. Spirits are telling me that some of you, if you're invited to somewhere where they're going to talk about a book or to sign books, go over there, okay? Even it could be a concert through a trip. So many of you, you are going to meet through a trip. It could be even in the airplane that both of you guys are going to start talking and again what did i tell you the books if you're invited into something that some a writer that you like or or a friend tells you please come because i don't want to go alone he or she's going to sign me the book go <laughs> go or maybe even a concert or somewhere that you wanted to go by yourself this is a single trip you by yourself relaxing and even maybe you're not expecting love but this is coming your way look at that isn't that beautiful oh my gosh this card is coming out in all of the groups i'm amazed i mean if not in the four groups i think in three so at night probably in when you're going to have some nice dinner by yourself okay by yourself or with a friend both of you guys you're going to be in that situation that you're going to meet that soulmate or maybe both of you guys, you're by yourselves and you're going to meet in the evening, during the night. Look at that. What did I tell you? Many of you going on a trip or going with a friend that you're going to meet that incredible soulmate. And I feel that this is a representation too that many of you, you're going to feel free with this person. You're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, so I, I sense like a lot of joyful, joyfulness, yes, a lot of fulfillment. Really, both of you guys, you're going to fulfill all of your dreams with this person. This person is going to encourage to go for your dreams. It's going to help you to raise your vibration, to raise your self-esteem. This is somebody that loves, loves you so much. And again, when you're going to cry, when you're going to suffer, they're going to suffer. When you're going to be very happy, they're going to be more happy even more happy because they really love you okay my loves i'm telling me to shuffle one of these ones as well so coffee shop branch and family okay so many of you you're going to start a new family with this person 
and even it could be that uh, a friend of yours and a new friend this is a family member of them and this could be your soulmate or you could meet in a coffee shop in a branch okay let's see about the physical appearance if you want to meet a woman i sense like a little bit of everything red hair um, blonde hair very blonde brunette hazel I, I says like all type of hair colors if you want to meet a woman and if you want to meet a man let's see that's telling me that many of you you're you're going to meet in seven months seven months and eight weeks some of you okay very beautiful image like sort of like from south america or he could seem like spanish greek italian Or a mix, I am listening, very sexy, dark hair, strong arms, maybe he loves motor bikes, he has, he loves that. He reminds me of Aquaman, but with short hair. And again, look, isn't this incredible? For sure, if you want to meet a man, Latin, Spanish, Greek, Italian, maybe he's from Russia and he looks like this. Okay, my sunshine. Nice. That's how to get another one. Okay. Yes. Dark hair for sure. Italian, Greek, Spanish. Sort of, I mean, at least physically, he seems like that. Okay. Very nice smile. Nice smile. Very elegant for work. And very different when he's not working. Okay. Elegant for work. But when he's not working nothing at all this style okay the way he dresses and and with a woman as well okay very down to earth i sense like both of you guys you are somebody very down to earth very loving per people very nice people both of you guys i sense that you are natural light workers my sunshine i hope you have liked it i love you so much and if you have liked it you know give him a like subscribe and thank you for the donations and if you want to be part of the next webinar oh my gosh to help you release toxicity, toxic energies, toxic people, toxic memories, and to start really manifesting your dreams faster, let me know in my next webinars. They're going to stay recorded. Everything is down below in the description. And if you want an incredible offer from Kim, the first 10 minutes for just $199, you're going to receive more specific details about your soulmate. You have my link down below in the comment section as well. I love you. Bye.